feel I feel it. You're Mo Dixie. Slowly dying of poison. <laughs> Something I can do? <laughs> Not a problem. I got it. Already on it. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> Better run. Yes. Round two. That dog won't hunt. Here we go. Feel on feeling. You're mine. Sorry, friend. I can't. Better run! May I be a 
candle in the night. This does not work. That must have hurt. Sure. Happy to oblige. You need something. It will be so. Speak your mind. Ah, feels good to stretch my legs, Akira. Free once again. Bad luck, eh? Always this seems to happen to me. First pirates, now witches. Oh, for what? A salve recipe? It is madness. Huh. What potion requires bat bile, cat blood, and dandelion fluff? Even I'm not crazy enough to touch it, I say. Ikira, who do you think collected those ingredients for the witches? Me, Tamawatua. They are mine as much as anyone's, I say. I will take some time to study this island, I think. Strange things grow among its weeds, and they will need names. And if you need supplies before you go, Tama will sell you what he can find, Ikira. You take a look, eh?
<laughs> what potion requires bat bile, cat blood, and dandelion fluff? Even I'm not crazy. And thank you again. Next time, a challenge. Speak your mind. Free once again. Already on. Ta 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 I said no to talk. The drowned barrows are closed. If you want to join your son, you can offer yourself to Nemnok next season. An outlander? This is Drunvik business. None of yours. Our elders crossed the land bridge to protect their children. You disgrace their memory feeding our young to the mountain Anik. Nemnok will release my son, or... or perish! Kali sacrificed himself for the good of the tribe, right, Tatok? Ah... Uh, I lived a full life in the shadow of the Barrows. Kali deserves the same. If you reject Nemnok's accord, then you are truly lost. May Kali find peace in the embrace of the Mighty One. on Nemnok. Some ink must have leaked through Anik's skull if she thinks I'll stand idly by. Ah! There goes the rest of my day. What do you want, Outlander? Junvik tradition. The names of friends and foes are engraved on its hide. Been with the tribe for generations. Good armor remembers. Our chieftain offered my Kali to the drowned barrows. Nimnok accepted him. An honor to some, a tragedy to me. God of the island, a great terror of a being, but kind to us when we follow the rules. A false god, you mean? He's not perfect, but he's our god, lass. His likeness is the most any of us have seen.
we only meet his ogre minions who guard the isle. The children we send, they face him in the mountain. Aye, there in the big mountain, mighty Nemnok's hall of power. Nemnok and the ogres watch over our tribe, keep us safe. But the cost... Nemnok sure takes like a god. He demands readers, scribes, anyone handy with ink and quill. My Kali had the misfortune to be born clever. You'd... Did you say you'd go to the Mountain of Power? Would you find my boy while you're there? We send other tithes to the mountain as well. Gold, gems, items of power, if such things interest you. My thanks, Outlander. I have no cause to expect help, but I'll take it where I can. Next time it'll be Nemnok who pays. Not a problem. I offer amends for the slight of Tatok, great one. A gift of breath and wind for his wasted words. Speak up, unless you're just resting your sea legs. Kali joined mighty Nemnok in the drowned barrows against the wishes of his infidel father. Nemnok does Kali great honor. Tatok is a fool to think otherwise. Nemnok is the god of this island and patron of our tribe. Nemnok gives life and safety to all Junvik. To feed the barrows with sacrifice is to feed our prosperity. It is not for me to question the will of a god, nor is it any business of yours. Kali was blessed to be taken. May we all be as clever and beloved as he. In exchange for our obedience to Nemnok's laws, the Mighty One guarantees our safety and plenty. One day, all of the Deadfire will accept Nemnok's accord. A strange covenant from a strange god, I say. You are the only strange one here. Enormous fish. Speak on, then. Thriving, my outlander friend. The elders of my youth told stories of those who crossed the sea by a great land bridge. Now, I tell them to my children. The gods opened a path for us, and we trudged forward, spurred by inviting whispers carried over the horizon. We followed prophecy until we found mighty Nemnok, who gives us safety, security, and a future. When I was born, the Holy Woman told my mother these markings would bring me luck. So far, they bring only more questions. But, is that not the nature of faith? You come for food? As you wish.
monster statue at the entrance. I've got a good feeling about this. Nani. What's this? I already told those Aeotin clods were at capacity for scribes and acolytes. Those incessant drums have beaten our guards senseless. We aren't accepting new recruits. Now go! Our progress wallows as you degrade the left eye with your presence. The new boy. Nemnok fawns over him in the lower sanctum. Only acolytes, ogres, and naga go down there, and any of them would chew you to pieces. Huh. A glimmer of reason pokes through that dense fog. Of course, it's not my call to make. And you won't get to Nemnok unless you deal with the Death Warden first. You know, Aetons. The big ones, yeah? One of our resident Aetons carries a wardstone which opens the way to Nemnok's realm past the gates of death. A lot of dead means a lot of souls. Life and death are Nemnok's domain, or haven't you heard? Not even the greenest acolytes come this poorly equipped to deal with Nemnok's magnificence. Then make haste to the death, Warden, imbecile. Believe me that the Warden has more unspent aggression than those infernal drums can absorb. Me, Acolyte. They, Aeotin. Acolyte, Aeotin. Yes? Frankly, we could use a good culling of the staff around here. The Death Warden patrols the sinus of our fair skull. That's our central level if you aren't keen on anatomy. From this hallowed sanctum, mighty Nemnok protects the Junvik people with more benevolence than my former tribe deserves, if you ask me. You want me to hold them? I can hold them for you, so you don't have to keep picking them up. That is what you get for... Well, I am certain it was justified somehow. I don't normally condone beating people up who can't defend themselves, but in this... What? What was that for? And irritation brings out the beast in you, does it? I shall be the bigger man. Put this behind me. I give it five minutes before the Aetons squash you into mush. But thankfully, it's no concern of mine. with that. Naturally. 
What's that? It does not work. Death to our enemies. Craved a fear. <laughs> Yours to command. Be to oblige. Craved a feeling. Oh, what can I do? Happy to oblige. What's that? Look here. It is not that worth it. Wrong. I'm not even. This does not work. You need, you need something. You only need a priest. This won't hold me for long. You need something. Get the hand. Show me where to fight. Very nice, Rekka. Yes, sir. Hey, watch us there. It does not work. At your sake, you ask too much. Ready when you are. You have my attention. Yeah? Hey. No more. Some good times. Quick, toss me something else. I need some help here. Sad, but no. Next time, at your service. What say? Twice. Already on. Not no 
this is going. Yes, Captain. That will do, I say. Head. A feel of fit that works and run. Quick, toss me something else. I'll reap what I sow.
you, yes. Hey, watch out. I feel a feeling. This does not work. Death to our enemies. Worse than rough. Shut up, right? Moe, Ixie. 
isn't doing the job. Tart, ela risa. Ah, papi, ele... 
I saw you, Park. would help if you don't mind yeah yes captain do you need something the pleasure is mine <laughs> -uh, didn't work <laughs> No difference. Nothing worth than rough. Ah! I am the Alpha Predator. to oblige. No difference. Happy to oblige. Nothing worth than what say? At your service. Naturally. Just a smidge. 
bitch. See you. as a bump on a pickle. Much obliged.
What say? Yeah. <laughs> Glory be to God! I hear you. What can I do you for?